Hi guys. Candy here at my mobile homestead. Indeed. Yes, it has been quite some time. As you can see, beautiful uh, blue skies behind me. I'm sitting under my umbrella. I got my hat on. Win! So, uh, last time I came on, I was having a variety of health issues. And, um, they haven't stopped. <laughs> I'm trying to look on the bright side of things because it's hard. There's more. And wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but you know what? Um, I'm still alive and I'm walking around. I can breathe. And I'm pretty functional for the most part. So, but let me fill you in. Um, so, as you know, in my last video, I have not looked back at that video, so I'm not 100% everything I told you. Um, in my last video, I... Let me see if I can it a little bit more in the shade so we're not having a glare. Um, in my last video, I was having a lupus issue, and then I started taking the methotrexate, um, which helped a lot. And I still have some rash on my face. I don't know if you can... Ooh, come on. Let's see if we can get it. Oops, I tried covering the camera. Isn't that... What? Oh, my hand was over it. Because I'm so smooth. Anyway, uh, let me see. I got some redness right here. And some redness over here. If I can... If you can see it, I can't see anything. Um, anyway, yeah, that's... That just is there. I, it's, it is what it is. I can't, I can't be complaining too much. It's not all over my entire body and my entire chest and throat and you name it. Because I really felt like I was uh, going to go insane. And, you know, I didn't feel well. Something like that's just not going to make a person feel very well. Kind of really rode my depression. <laughs> you know? I hope that wasn't a bee coming to visit me. Oh, do I have a... A little spot. Huh. Nope, that's just that. Whew. Okay, I don't want... <laughs> um, another thing. I have ADHD. So sometimes, something will catch my eye and, and then I'm like, What's going on? Why is that there? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's hyper-focus on that for a little bit. Which is part of why I don't always get my videos out. Because um, my brain goes all over the place. So um, I am focusing. I'm working on that. Um, I talked to my doctor. We're going to be doing some cognitive therapy to help target the things that, are, that trigger the ADHD. Um, so that I can get the focus thing better. But... Uh, everything else is what it is. <laughs> so you all have a taste of my ADHD now. I feel like I need to move. This sun behind me is a bit much. And it's only like 65. <laughs> but I've been stuck inside the house for a minute. And I have to always be careful when it comes to the sun because of my lupus. I, I don't want to claim it because of the lupus. I read somewhere one time that if you call it yours and you claim it, you're like allowing it to run you, to, to be in charge of you. And I don't want that. Because like I said, but wait, there's more. So I've been having some neurological issues. Uh, and um, a lot of it is in my neck. Oh my gosh, the stuff in my neck. And then doing anything that just triggers it all over the place again. So the symptom was that I'm, I was going to, that blah, 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 symptom that I have had at the time that I went to the doctor, have, was um, that my neck every time I put my neck down 
Not every time, but most of the time when I put my neck down. Oh, my, um, both my feet tingle. And I was like, oh my God, I have like a horrible pinched nerve. I mean, that's not okay. I've not had that happen before. <clears throat> so, apparently, a red flag, ding, 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 in her head. She didn't say anything to me because she didn't want to freak me out. <laughs> so, um, she went ahead and sent me to physical therapy. And I didn't know that that's why. I didn't even go to physical therapy at first because I was just like, I mean, I like the physical therapy. It works. But um, I just, because her, her thing said for the, the referral, it said bilateral legs. So I was like, they're not going to treat me for my neck if you tell them bilateral legs. And it took me a minute to tell her that because I'm ADHD. <laughs> and I forget things sometimes until... Until something reminds me, like, I'm in super bad pain again, you know. That's a good reminder. So, um, then I find out that she suspected MS. <laughs> so, she sent me in for an MRI of my head and neck. Just in case it was an MS, and it was a pinched nerve. So, kill two birds with one stone, I thought that was a smart move. On the plus side, my neck does not have a pinched nerve. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> they found lesions in my brain. Um, more in the white matter. Um, it's not 100%. I haven't even seen the neurologist yet, so it's not 100%. That it is MS, though I do have a lot of symptoms for MS. And the only reason that they're um, saying that is because of where the lesions are. The lesions are in the white matter, and that can mean that I've had many strokes. It can mean that my lupus has turned into systemic lupus and is attacking my brain. Um, it can mean... Um, migraines, I guess. Uh, I don't have actual headache migraines. I just have the optical ones. But way less than I used to. I used to have a big problem with them. So, yeah. That's where we're at with that. So, and stop it. Hand. Um, so, the neurological stuff that I have does affect like more one side of my body than the other and that's both sides you know just more on the right side more weakness you know stuff like that which is annoying because I'm right-handed <laughs> so so now um when I got lupus uh, I went into kind of a depression I was like this um I'm gonna turn my camera around and see if I can is the camera over here? It is. That's weird. Because I feel like I'm not <clears throat> looking at the camera or I have to turn it wrong. Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so, when I found out I had lupus, it was a very, very long time ago, so they didn't really have a lot of answers for it. But I went into kind of a depression because I was like, oh no, I have this horrible disease. But 30 years later, I'm still pretty much kicking, just with a few annoying side pieces. So, side effects, not side piece. <laughs> side piece you want, you want to like that. <laughs> so, I'm not depressed, <clears throat> and I am determined. I'm determined to uh, get up my strength and so that I can still continue to do the things that I love to do. Um, some of the things I like to do is woodwork. And if I lose my strength and I start jerking and spasming, I cannot operate the saw. Um, same goes for making soap because lye is caustic. So um, I will be narrowing down my preferences as things progress, but we'll see. I'm not sure how that's going to go. So, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I've been 
So just probably a month ago got that result. And then doing the physical therapy. The physica physical therapy is mostly based on, you know, improving my strength and my balance. They're working on balance big time, which I do have a problem with. I have a problem going down the stairs. <laughs> And they're like, how are you going up the stairs? And I'm like, not as bad as going down the stairs, I'll tell you that. And they just, like, it surprises them because I can walk up the stairs. Well, it's, it depends on how deep, steep the stairs are. I, I, I do have a hard time, but, like, going down the stairs, sure, going downhill is easier than going up, uphill, right? But not when you can fall down them, and it sucks to fall down the stairs. I can tell you this from experience. <laughs> so, they're like looking at me like, that's kind of weird. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not weird at all. If I fall down going up the stairs, then I have stairs to land on. <laughs> yeah. Like one time I went, I fell down the stairs and I mean, I went two, 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 tumble, tumble. Like, I'm surprised I didn't break my neck, okay? And I didn't go through the window that was at the end of the stairwell. At the st <laughs> yeah, I ended up smashed into the corner down there. Not through the window. Not head first. No broken neck. I hurt, but I wasn't even, didn't even. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but I got lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And then my most recent fall, um, I missed a step altogether <laughs> because if I'm carrying anything in my hands, um, I can't see the steps and that freaks me out. I just, they're like, here, carry this stack of boxes up the steps. Up the steps is one thing because I, I kind of count them at the same time, but I also butt my, my toes up to the next set step and then I know that I have one more. Um, but when I'm going down, <laughs> yeah, that's scary. And then I get to the bottom and I'm just like, is there another step? And so I'm taking forever getting down the steps. <laughs> if I make it all the way down, yeah, I just go, nope, I'm not going to carry all that stuff. Sorry. I'm not your guy for that. Your gal. <laughs> I'm going to move myself to a less sunny position. Let's hope there's no spiders in this chair. Ooh, there's stuff though. Huh, hmm, there's dirt. There's no spiders, I don't care about dirt. All right, yeah. Okay. Okay, now. I'm not going to splice this. I'm not going to trim it. You just get this lovely, weird video that I have shared with you. <laughs> but yeah, I have a variety of things going on. And I'm just, and see, just doing that right now. Winded me, and that doesn't help it. I have allergies. And here in Southern California mountains, it's still kind of cool. Technically, we're not supposed to do any gardening until Mother's Day. So I get two months. A little less than two months. And... Um, oh, my trees are blossoming. That's nice. See? That was ADHD. <laughs> um, so I got two months before I can technically plant. And then it's going to be effing hot. And I cannot be in the heat. That is one of the MS things. But it's also a lupus thing. <laughs> I mean, I, lupus, with lupus, it's not an intolerance to heat. It's just that you have an, the sun. You can't be in the sun. It, it triggers the lupus and makes it turn on sun turns it on woo woo <laughs> no not the way we like it no so anyway um yeah so 
it gets hot and um, heat intolerance is a thing which I have a problem with so I get pretty lethargic and sick and headaches and everything when I'm in the heat so coming out into my garden I'm gonna have to condition myself to wake up really early can't be late in the day because we don't have in here in the mountains we don't have street lights <laughs> so when the Sun goes down the light goes away <laughs> and even by candlelight or not candlelight but like lights on your house or bulb light even lantern light whatever flashlight you know I have really good flashlights but it, it it's pretty pinpoint you know <laughs> So there's no really doing anything at night, which kind of sucks because there's a good stretch of night that I get a lot done. And I am not a morning person, dang it. That would mean going to bed so much earlier. And that's hard for me. And, um, yeah. So. So, yeah, I, the gardening thing is weird. Um, and then, you know what? I almost forgot. <laughs> ADHD thank you this is an important point um, not even not even pertaining to my health maybe maybe not I'm gonna add a little bit of time onto this video usually I like to go 15 minutes but here we go I'm moving to Texas I am moving to Texas hopefully as soon as this summer I want out of California I hate California I renounce my residency to California damn it I just guys I mean and it's not even the six dollar a gallon for gas which is yeah <laughs> yeah you can never get anywhere and I mean not even just like travel just <laughs> everything is so expensive and we're paying for the sun they call it the sun tax you know what in Texas they have more sun <laughs> A lot more. Whatever. It's so green and so beautiful and so lush because they do have more humidity and more rain. But I have family there. My sister's there. Uh, two of my sisters are there. My mother's there. Um, they are originally transplants. But they've been there for quite some time. My sister's taking care of my mother who has um, dementia. And, um, I will be helping take care of her because she's doing it by herself. Uh, my older sister helps, <laughs> eh. but she also works. And so, yeah. Um, and a lot of the time my sister flies me out from here to there to watch my mom when they want to go on vacation so I'm like okay free vacation it's just vacation taking care of my mom's not that hard <laughs> I love spending time with her she's an amazing woman even though even though there's less there and less of a lot of things you know um I love talking to her and you know and sometimes her memories are weirdly somebody else's memories <laughs> or um not all there you know or i will start the memory and i you can't say hey you remember when because that that confuses them even more i just start the memory by oh i i i remember you telling me about blah 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 blah, blah. and then that way she can Oh, that's right. And sometimes she doesn't. It doesn't register, but that's her little... <laughs> oh, that's right. But then maybe if if I'm talking about it enough, then she goes, That's right, we lived, blah, 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 you know, and then she can go into that and we have these conversations. There's some things I really miss about her that <clears throat> I don't get anymore and that's you know like when I'm not well or I'm feeling kind of yucky or I'm going through this crap that I'm going through right now I miss my mama for that she was so loving and attentive and there for me 
but you know, she taught me to be that way with my kids. So that's, that's what counts, right? Anyway, and I know there's a lot of people out there that don't even have their mama to, to go to, you know, and there's even a few people out there that their mommies, mamas were not worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry for that too, but yeah, she's 85, I believe. I'm horrible with math, aren't I? All right, so yeah, I'm moving to Texas um, at the earliest this summer, at the latest, the end of this year, the end of 2022, I will be a Texas resident. My husband and I are purchasing a motorhome, and we're going to live in that motorhome until we can find the right property out there. We can afford to buy a property. We have not owned our own property ever. And I am, my husband's 60, going to be 66 this month. I'm going to be 57 this year, you know? I mean, and all this time, I've always wanted a house. I've always wanted to be able to have my animals. I want chickens and goats and you name it. I want at least an acre of property, you know? I've, and that's part of my work. That's part of my work to stay healthy. I'm not going to just let it go to hell, you know. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to turn it into something amazing, whether I have MS or not. Because that's just, I got to live forward. I've got to try anyway. I know, I know I've seen, I've, I know of a couple people with MS and mobility is an issue, you know, I just, we'll see, right? Anyway, now I have hit the 22 and a quarter mark and I think maybe I'm going to log off. I hope, I really do hope you've hung out for the entire video. And hopefully I can get back on here as soon as possible and get you an update. Well, I hope you all have a blessed life, <laughs> year. I don't know when I'm going to be back on. I love you. God bless.